Perillo, and you've tuned in to a live audio-only broadcast, so don't try to adjust your screen. You just, just see, like, an icon of my avatar with red circles radiating. It's kind of what I look like in real life. I, I don't know. I've <clears throat> been feeling a little uh, weird today. Not necessarily sick, but I just can't but feel that it's allergies. Even though I don't feel like I've been draining either, I've been coughing. It's definitely um, mucusy. For sure. Oh, okay. So in case you didn't want to hear about that, so let's go ahead and put uh, uh, all the, the sickness talk behind us. Uh, I thought uh, I would first begin by letting you know that Hasbro has uploaded a handful of full-length episodes of the G.I. Joe cartoon uh, that ran, of course, when uh, some of us were kids, certainly when I was a kid. And they're all up on YouTube, on Hasbro's YouTube channel. Fun to watch. I had no idea just how bad those shows were. But as a kid, man, they were perfect. As an adult, uh, the dialogue leaves something to to be desired. As well as the animation style. Not necessarily amazing. You know, but for the time, it was great. Sold toys. Worked. Speaking of toys, uh, Hasbro also dropped a handful of uh, figure announcements today. I don't know if you've been following along. But uh, it's rather an amazing little array that we were not expecting, specifically those of us who happen to be in the uh, collecting community, that part of the geek community. I retreated a few of them from the Star Wars Radar Twitter account, which I do run earlier in the day. So on deck, likely later this year, we're going to see, and pre-orders for these are all open, like on, you know, all the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, should I say, guilty suspects in all the places where you could normally get this stuff uh entertainment earth big bad toy store dorkside toys etc etc uh, a carbonized version of boba fett which is pretty cool so they're building upon those store exclusives they had a while ago and a carbonized version like a silver type of version like a lustry silver version of uh, the stormtrooper really cool uh, they also pre-announced the empire strikes back sculpt for darth vader uh that'll be out later this year pre-orders not for that Pre-orders, though, also open for the Vintage Collection K2SO, which, to my knowledge, has not been produced to this point. We've got a, a typical 5 POA K2SO uh, that was released, and uh, that was specifically within the, the 3 and 3 quarter inch variety, and then a 6 inch K2SO, which you might have known from the Black Series, and also a Commander Wolf in the 3 and 3 quarter inch series. And to my knowledge, the Commander Wolf 6 inch series has been out for a while, or was out for a while as a store exclusive. Was that a Toys R Us exclusive? That's just been a while. Oh. So that dominated my feed, the, uh, the Star Wars announcements. I probably should go ahead and open up the phone lines. Uh, if you call the number that's about to pop up on your screen, a couple things will happen. One, you'll be you know, put into the queue. Two, if you text that phone number, 510-MOAN-WEB, 510-662-6932. If you text that number, you'll get texts back, like SMS texts saying, hey, Chris is live. So it's another way of kind of circumventing YouTube's um, notification system if you're worried about it effectively not working or if you want to, if you can't or don't sign up to be notified whenever I'm live, this is a, a good way uh, around it. I thought, though, for the calls tonight, uh, we could try to limit to uh, like 10 minutes, and I'm, I'm hoping that's uh, okay. 10-minute uh, calls. If, if, if you are inclined, it would be great for me. Otherwise, I will be talking all night. Plus, that way we might be able to rap within an hour. Not rap as in... <laughs> okay, that's more like a, a beatbox. Um, I think you know what I mean. Uh, so, let's try to keep the calls, if, if there are any, to uh, 10 minutes. And I'm, I'm going to be pretty strict about that. And I don't mean to be rude. And I may have to remind everybody who, who happens to call in. Speaking of, and I tried to reach out to her yesterday. Who was Lexi? Like, Lexi popped on yesterday, and I don't know, uh, I, I, I'm, I guess I'm, maybe I am familiar with who she is in the community by a different name or a different handle, um, but she said something I wanted to follow up with. So I'm, I'm, I guess I'm looking for Lexi. This is the closest thing I have to a, uh, <laughs> to a, uh, a Craigslist thing of sorts, right? <laughs> Isn't that like, missed, what is it, Missed Connections? Well, obviously, Lexi must have been listening. So if Lexi's listening again, I've been, I, she said something. I'm like, I, I really need to follow up with that. I even asked on Discord and Twitter, but of course, like, it's just like screaming into the void at that point. Mm. Uh, Jedi and Diana, I don't know uh, if they're going to be uh, popping up here. In fact, let's call. Let's, let's find out. 
I'm I'm gonna find out from uh, from uh, wait. Let's see here. We're gonna call Diana here. See if she's gonna actually come up here. Or of course I can take this downstairs. I don't have to be tethered to one particular location. Uh, she's not anywhere near her phone or it's on mute. Yeah. So I, I would not hold out hope for, uh, for Diana popping up. In my yeah, that's not going to happen. We we would have popped into voice. We could have left a voicemail for her. <laughs> that would be fun. Yes, it's me. Uh, sorry. I didn't warn you. Well, I, I was calling to find out if, if you planned on coming up here. Oh, you do. You, you, you plan on it. I, okay. We probably could have coordinated that ahead of time, but I, I just can't understate just how, uh, how, how much we communicate and how little we say. When you are self-isolating, you learn to uh, uh, not distance yourself, but, you know, um, you don't have to talk about everything. So I, I figured, uh, you know, I, I asked her earlier. She didn't really commit. I, I figured I'd ask her again because, you know, otherwise I'd be too heavy handed and then she'd really want to jump on the line. And then I'd get nervous. <laughs> uh, not really much else to say as, as we uh, continue forward into this broadcast. I'm hoping to wrap within an hour. But again, that's W-R-A-P. Not. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm just going to. Uh, I'm just going to move on. Or at least attempt to. Um, there's been a, a huge uptick, of course, from people online uh, producing videos and, 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 and uh, live video or recorded video using uh, video conferencing software. And I got to tell you, I'm glad I didn't get swept up in that. This is the kind of stuff we were doing like a decade ago, which is funny to me. I mean, to see it kind of come about now. Uh, and, and I got to tell you, there, there's one in particular, one, one piece of software that has been riddled with problems and they're just now coming to light. So I'm very glad that I've avoided that. Not glad to say that I haven't avoided you. Wait, no, I'm glad to say that I haven't avoided you. That's a, okay. I, here I am not avoiding you. Ready? Here we go. This is Chris. This is Lexi. Okay, Lexi. Fine. Okay, great. <laughs> so I was going to follow up with something off, specifically offline. So, uh, you know, is, is there a, a chance or a possibility that we might be able to get some money to you personally so that oh, you can you take don't care need of to do that. grocery i know i don't need to so that you can at least take care of groceries and and, and whatnots you know in this interim period with so many freaking question marks i would so much rather do something like that um than when i see a lot of these people out there on the interwebs and they've got stories, and I, I mean, I if I don't know them necessarily, I believe that their stories are true. I always feel compelled, as does Diana. I'm like, well, what you know, what can we, what can we reasonably do? And so uh, I'm taking a leap of faith because I assume you're telling me the truth. And since you're in this community and you called and everything, I, I just thought I'd follow up with that. Oh, that's so nice of you. <laughs> well, I can only imagine, like. I really, I seriously, I can only imagine that, you know, I, I know what I went through when I've been through, uh, not ex exactly similar circumstances, but it, the, the, it, it felt mm -hmm. in a similar situation, it felt like the walls were closing in for me. Yeah. It like, it, it's for sure. Like pressure, pressure is pretty high right now and everybody's pretty tense, you know? Right. It's like, you know, half, half, the community half of our economical foundation is out of work right now you know it, it, everything everything yeah like the the, the the we we hear like terms like supply chain and that doesn't necessarily resonate with let's say the average person but when they realize oh that's why i can't get the thing that i was expecting to get when i went right you know the supply chain right these people make things go 
and yeah, you know, exactly. You, you know, every step of the way. I mean, I, I, uh, we, we, you know, you're, you're, you would be allowing us to catch up because we really don't go out to eat a lot. We just don't. We do. Mm -hmm. We genuinely don't. Um, for well, a lot we, of yeah, reasons. we usually order in too. Right. Yeah, we usually order in. It, well, sometimes it's t it's challenging for us to find something that we can eat that you know works for everyone. And you know, when you have a daughter, it just becomes mm -hmm. that much more difficult to to try to identify what oh, you yeah. can do. So, um, I so I don't want to like if you use a different handle online, I don't want to like out anything. Um, but that's why I was I was like, okay, who's Lexi? Like, how? Wh where? Like, uh, so that's why I was trying to <laughs> reach out, so to speak. Well, that was really nice. Thank you. Well, it's I I'm saying this because that's you know I like I said I can't promise the world, but you know certainly something that can go a, a long way to make sure at least that you can eat. Thank you. And and other whatnots. You know, I don't know. I'm not asking for any circumstances beyond that but i would much rather do this than um than not know where it goes oh, you're, you're gonna make me cry oh don't cry don't i you, you wait wait until diana gets up here then you can cry because then you guys can cry together oh. <laughs> so um now nah, like i said you know i, I i'm not asking for ver like you know verification this is exactly what's going on i believe you i'll take you at your word um and, uh, you know, like I said, I can only imagine being in a, a similar, uh, similar position. It's, it's you know, not too distant past, not, not exactly the same for, you know, for obvious reasons. We, I don't think anybody's really gone through a pandemic like this before. Uh, but it's going to yeah. have, it's going to have far reaching ramifications, no doubt. Oh, for sure. Yeah, definitely. I mean, some businesses around here, even in like the really great parts of town and, you know, like because we have something called Crocker Park, which is just like an outdoor shopping center, you know, mm -hmm. it's basically like an outside mall. And there's already a restaurant that announced that they're not going to be reopening afterwards. And they yep. told all of their employees, like, you might as well just look for a job and, and file for unemployment for sure, because we're not going to reopen. That does not surprise me at all. I mean, yeah, and it's crazy. I, I, I'm a little, every day it's like, I, I, it's like a little roller coaster. Like, what can I take? How much can I take it? it you know? Yeah. It, and I'm usually one who I, I love taking in information. You know, I live on Twitter constantly reading, learning, exploring, but it's, it's, it's to the point where I'm like, mentally, I just, I can't, I can't fathom that situation and, 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 you know, being, you know, father, you know, leading the family, being the breadwinner and having a similar type of stress. I, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. So yeah. this is the least, this is the absolute least that, 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 that we might be able to do. Wow. So <laughs> that's like the nicest thing I think anyone's done for me. Wow. Well, you, you called in the other day. You told, you said it. Like we can't just like put it out there and then like. Because I, I just wanted to talk. I know. I wanted to talk to you. I know. <laughs> you, I know you weren't expecting it. All the more reason. All the more reason. So, like, yeah, we can loop loop, loop back with details off uh, offline in some capacity. Do you, you don't want to give up mm -hmm. your handle? Oh, um, well, I don't really like, like handle for YouTube, you mean? Or yeah, or some way that I know it's you and not someone who says it's you. I mean, like, I'm, I'm okay with giving my email out if that's okay. Are you, sh uh, give me. I, like, uh, I, I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't do that. Um, oh man, how, how can we verify? Um. Because people are weird. I know it's not a lot of people paying attention, but yeah, people are I definitely weird. <laughs> just I don't. Not I'm not a fan of, of that. Um, are you Are you on Twitter? Um, no, I don't have Twitter. I do have Instagram or okay. Facebook. In, where oh, so you post pictures? Is it okay if you share in, your Instagram? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, go ahead. Um, it's at l e x i e. L O U G H and is in Nancy E R. Got it. Okay. Perfect. And and who knows, you may have gotten another follower or two. 
So at least that gives <laughs> that gives us a starting point. I know, right? I only have like maybe a hundred. <laughs> okay, that's okay. So I, I and, and honestly, not for me. I, I'm serious. I tried to get you on. I tried to figure out who you were online. The reason why is because I, when I do this kind of stuff, I usually don't talk about it. So I realize it's even weirder because I'm like, okay, I've got you. I've got to like, you know, to to reach my goal of helping. I know people. People were telling me like that you were saying where's Lexi and I was just like you know I figured oh he probably just wants to talk again because I'm a good conversationalist so I was like okay let me hop on here <laughs> that that would be why that 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 is exactly why that's I mean I'm not gonna say it's the only reason why but that was the the primary drivers to at least try to help and it's typically I mean there's a, I'm this isn't me this is not a humble brag there's a lot that I do that I just don't talk about for obvious reasons I don't want to take out oh, the yeah. value of the gesture However, I, I think everyone would understand this is somewhat of a unique situation where the only way of getting, figuring out who you are in a galaxy of Lexis is, <laughs> I know. is to actually talk to you. The inter- <laughs> yeah, the inner tubes are, are pretty vast. <laughs> so now we, now we have a starting point. So expect a DM from me and we'll, figure, we'll take it from there. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Nah, no worries. No worries. I appreciate you calling in the other day and I can appreciate the situation that you're going through right now. Yeah, for sure. And I'm sorry that Diana's not here right now. <laughs> it's okay. She's downstairs. She's finishing eating. So that's that. That's that's really that was that was my reason. I know it's a whole uh, like it, the only reason I might have had. But I think it's a good reason. Aww. Yeah, I think it's. I think that's a good reason too. <laughs> I'll let you go though. Thank you for thank you for calling right. in, and uh, I'll be All following right. up with you online. Awesome, thank you. Have thank a great you. night. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm I'm usually not the kind of person. I don't. I just there's a lot that I mean. I, now is it, see now I when I talk about the things that I do that I don't normally talk about. It's like I'm humble bragging and that's not the point like that's why i don't generally talk about this stuff because it's like between me and and whatever else is going on and i'm i'm good with that um so thank you everybody for 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 allowing me this very brief moment to make that connection um if only to to help lexi moving on 10 minutes uh that's what we're gonna gonna go for 10 minute calls uh and i gotta remember to start the timer i got it set up right now by the way i ate dinner before doing the stream so you shouldn't hear any Mouth smacking and all that gross, disgusting sound stuff coming from me. At least, uh, unless it's it maybe a burp. I don't know yet. All right, moving on. <phone rings> one ring. That's it. I only get one ring and it picks up. Hello. Hey. Oh, Chris. Hi. This is Sunshine. Hey, Sunshine. Uh, yeah, I've been, I don't, I don't know how I was brave enough to call. I'm, I'm a shy person. Uh, and so I'm an introvert. Oh, well, um, get in line. Um, We're all yeah. introverts. Oh, so you consider, I was, I was going to ask you that if you consider yourself that, because I was like uh, surprised to hear that Oprah and Ellen considered themselves that. You know, um, I guess, uh, I, I never considered the, uh, you know, I never considered it you know, myself, I guess, uh, extroverted apart from, you know, when I find myself in a comfortable situation or in a situation where I might have a bit more control over what's going on, then I tend to kind of come out of my shell a bit. Um, so for example, when I've hosted, uh, conferences or events, I tend to be a bit more, uh, outgoing and extroverted. Uh, but, um, you know, more often than not, I, I am, I'm very much a homebody. That's it's, I I can't think of a time in my entire life when I would not want to be, um, at home, like playing with my star Wars figures. That's I'm I'm, okay. So when I say, when I say that, I mean, I I, look, I I literally have got, I'm surrounded by boxes that I haven't unboxed yet. You saw, I don't know if you saw the recent, were you tuned into the unboxing the other day or the, uh, the hall? Not sure if you were. I I saw one with the yeah you did with Jedi. Yeah, uh, they so, had a uh, playing cards. And stuff right. Like that. Yeah. I mean, I I I'm, I I I like. I don't know. I mean, I'm just it's the collector in me, right? So I I have 
literal like always i always have something new to open and to play with and to enjoy and it's typically star wars more often than not and you know i i have uh, like lo- there are local groups of, i haven't you know been out with them in the longest time uh but like in seattle there's the sarlacc group and then the stars group where like other star wars fans and collectors get together and that's a total blast and you know in the beginning i was a little reserved and going and you know mixing with them and and then you know over time i I became a bit more you know comfortable because i i knew who they were in the situation so i i i'm i think introverted by nature but uh extroverted I think when I need to be, you know, I find enough well, in me to like, yeah, okay. To kind yeah. Of this is surprised me that you say that because it seems like, like me, I share my solitude a lot. Yeah. And like, I think I give, I give a lot of, of, um, of myself to the people that I love. Yeah. There so you go. When I have the solitude, you trust my battery that way. Right. I feel that like it makes sense. That sounds like Diana. Oh, see, yeah. That, so but, when you go ahead, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, please. No, so like, like giving that much to my of myself to the people that I love, and then when I have this solitude and time to myself, I, I feel like I recharge my battery, and I'm able to to give that love back to the people that I love. You know, I think that's normal, and I, I'm gonna go that I'm gonna go as as far as to say that because. In this day and age, especially with social media, you, you there's a term called FOMO, fear of missing out, right? Where someone might be posting, you know, oh, I'm at such and such party or such and such place. And I, I think rarely have I ever had FOMO. I'm like, yeah, you go. I'm fine. I'm here. I'm good at home. Um but in in seeing those kinds of shared experiences, I think sometimes we we might have uh this uh uh not, not, what am I thinking? Not a stress or a strain, but like almost like a being compelled that we need to do the same thing to measure up, measure, to measure up to that which somebody else is doing. But the thing that we, we, we sometimes often forget is like, well, wait a minute, that's somebody else's life. That's somebody else's direction. Let them do what they do and, and let us do what we do. And, you know, social media isn't necessarily uh, or what is valued isn't necessarily the homebodies it's always the travelers i'm like well, wait a minute wait a minute what about us homebodies we need representation too um so yeah i i, I think uh you know despite everybody doing a million different things out there i I've, I've always been pretty comfortable in my want need and desire to stick around my my uh i think diane is more like you in the sense that she she gives to others yeah, in that yeah, way. Me too. Yeah. She doesn't, she sometimes does not remember to recharge her batteries though. Her, her recharging batteries is getting stuck in some <laughs> dark hole of the interweb where she'll come to me the next day. It, she came to me, the, she, she talked about something really weird last night and I looked at her and I'm like, how the hell did you get to that part of the internet? She couldn't tell me. <laughs> it's just bizarre. So that's how, I think that's how she recharges her batteries. She looks up weird stories online. So yeah, I'm I'm well, for me like uh here. Yeah, like being alone and like hearing music and dancing by myself. So there's Jedi. That's Jedi in a nutshell. She doesn't even have to hear music and she'll dance. <laughs> I I'm not a dancer. I'm not even a swayer. I, I mean nod my head a bit, but that's as far as I go. Any, anything more than that and I might burn well, not the calorie. Hearing, I'm, I'm just by yourself. <laughs> What's that? Not even by yourself. No, not even by myself. Very like no. Uh, no. no. I think I did years ago. I remember doing a vlog where Diana went to Texas and I I acted like I had the house to myself like uh uh, uh what was the the old Tom, uh Tom Cruise movie um da, 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 da. you know what was that what was the movie? Uh Risky Business. Thank you, Rick. Well, Risky you're great Business. with the towels. Didn't you help me with Jessica Jones the other day? Yeah, someone did. I watched it was a you? lot of movies and TV shows. Uh, even though, even though, like I think the movie is lost, right? Is the golden age of television? Like I, I, I've been trying to watch a movie that, like I, I, it's been years since I've seen a movie that I truly loved. For me, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, like I, the Marvel universe is great, but like I want something like another genre. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm always looking for something new too. 
And I, I, this is where I really got excited when Hasbro put the GI Joe episodes. I'm, I'm probably the only one, but I got really excited. I'm like, whoa, cool. I wish they would do that with like all the old stuff. I, you know, maybe they, maybe, maybe it is somewhere, you know, uh, across the, uh, across the internet somewhere. I couldn't tell you where, where a lot of that old stuff got uploaded or where it would. Yeah, I I, I want to thank you too because like um, I started watching with my nephews the Lego Masters. Yeah. Episodes. Yeah. And it's it's really fun Dude, watching them with them and discussing yes. the team. It's it's great. I tell you, I I mean, I'm not gonna cons- I don't consider myself like a Will Arnett fan, but like as far as a, a host for that show, he's perfect. I, I it's it's great. It's great competition because. They're not necessarily at each other's throats. They're competition, but it's it, it feels like even at a distance, you got the sense right that they're a family, and uh, it's great because now Jedi, when we watch the show, she really doesn't watch it. She'll go and grab a whole bunch like a Lego, uh, her Lego bin, and she'll get the bricks out and she'll build her own thing, and then I'll stand over her with a, a really bad Scottish accent, you know, saying, "We really like this build this week, but you really need to add a bit more texture." <laughs> I'm trying to talk like uh, Lego Master. Uh, what's her name? I'm horrible with names. Um, so yeah, we, we have fun with it. We have fun with it. <laughs> tomorrow, yeah, it was, it was, it was, tomorrow is gonna be awesome because the Star thing Wars- is, like, I'm I'm a little bit sad because what? like um so like when school ended, I mean they stopped it because of the virus and stuff. Yeah. So my nephew stayed over because my. Uh, I work from home, uh, and so I stay with my nephews because my my siblings uh, work outside. So, um, but like I started showing symptoms, mm. and luckily I have a third floor, so they're over wow. there and I'm over here because I don't want to give them anything. Yeah. It's the thing is that the, the thing is that people don't talk about is that like when you're showing symptoms, you worry more about giving it to somebody else. Yes. Than yes. Having it. We, you know, I take, I keep everything at a minimum, but e- even I ordered, just ordered on Etsy, like some like uh, masks, like cloth masks, Star Wars cloth masks, of course. Uh, I don't want to take y- any other type of mask because I'd rather leave that to the health professionals. And I realize it's not going to stop everything, but if it at least does, you know, it, it helps somewhat and I can minimize my exposure, at least I'm, I'm doing something because I would be afraid to, of passing anything on, which I may have done before. I think we had it. That's not a joke. I think we had it uh, in January, February, but since we can't get tests, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Hey, boo. Hey. Yeah. That's the thing. I feel okay and I have symptoms that are. Too. Mm-hmm. I, I might have it, but I don't want to give it to them. So, yep. like, they're. I don't want um, this one. Okay. I, I took off on them from down here, but I don't want to give it to them. Because, like, everybody's different. <laughs> I hear you. Just, just keep. Uh, uh, if you if you if you feel that way, I mean, keep your distance. You know what you need to do, uh, and it's good that you're at least aware yeah, of that. I, I don't know if you can hear Jedi. She trotted in here. She wanted to, yeah. So, you want to say hi to Sunshine. Hi. There you go. Hi, yeah, hi Jedi. From Jedi. Um, favorite uh, team in Lego Masters. Yeah, she likes watching Lego Masters. Yeah. Yeah, it's on tomorrow. The Star Wars episode. I didn't know. Yeah, it is. <laughs> So we've hit a 10 minute mark. I'm going to go ahead and wrap. But we'll be back tomorrow. I know. I love love you. I know. We love you too. Thank you. Bye, sunshine. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Very nice. See, I like I like doing this because I knew who she was. I mean, I wouldn't know who she was if we met on the street. But I mean, I knew who she was. Yeah. Right, she's got a string of number. I can never remember the damn numbers. I'm not a numbers guy, uh, but uh, I knew. And by the way, I got a hold of Lexi, the person I was trying to get a hold of. So yeah. we got her Instagram account, so we can help. Oh, good. So, uh, and the whole world found out that we're gonna help. Okay, so moving along. Ten minutes uh, is uh, what the. There we go. Ten minute. Ten minute restrict. I'm not not a restriction. It's a loose restriction. Ten minute guideline on the calls so that we can Daddy, cycle I, through. Yeah. It does because those aren't words. But up there it says Lexi. I think it's Lofner. Yeah. Right yeah. There. I called you back and I got to listen to some music. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, was that you called back earlier? Okay. 
Speaking of calls. Oh, I think I actually hung up on him. Oh, you did. No, maybe I didn't. It doesn't react right away. It means that it was like two, three second delay. It's very bizarre. Uh, this is the Perillo family. And Jedi. And Jedi. And Diana. And Diana. That, hence the Perillo family. <laughs> Jedi actually is a child. Jedi is a child. I, I lived with I, I I once lived with you several times actually. <laughs> ah. Does that, that make me part of the family Who or that, uh I don't know. Oh. Who is that? <laughs> Rhymes with Liz. Oh, yeah. Well there you go. I didn't even I didn't I what does Liz rhyme There we with? go. Hi, Liz. Hi, Liz. Hello. So are you enjoying the tweets I'm saying? How's it going? Going well. Yes. I'm, I'm very excited because I have a farm basket that's supposed to be arriving in the next half hour or so. Do not so I'm wash have, like, the food in draw... soap. Don't wash it in soap. No, I... No, that's... My mother would do that, but no, not me. No, don't do that. It's dangerous. My mother would do that normally anyway. She's oh. weird. The bananas and no corn, though. Good. So. Good. It's about time. <laughs> it's, all, it's all grown on a, like a rooftop garden here, so uh, it's, it's local and fresh. Well, we, we would do that. So that's my excitement for today. We can't get up on the roof very easily. Otherwise, we'd totally do the same thing. No. I don't want but to... the new trend now with all this stuff that's going on is is the whole homesteading thing. And if this you if saying. you look on um Yeah, if you look on YouTube, everybody's you know talking about victory gardens and what? You know, Supposed people who are YouTube. eat Sorry, Liz. Yeah, so. <laughs> Je- Jedi does Did you hear what Jedi <laughs> said? We, no. We we put a limit on YouTube time, and so she told you you're not supposed to watch YouTube. <laughs> because you said YouTube. Because you said YouTube. Oh. Little does she know. She was watching it for educational purposes. Oh, right. No, Education. Liz was. Oh, yeah, Liz was. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> victory Garden. You know what a Victory Garden is? The Victory yeah, there's, Garden there's, is there's... the fact that our bush on the countertop that you send, or whatever the hell it is, the tree, the, the thing, the plant, <laughs> yeah. it's still alive. I think it's yeah. cypress or something. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I, yeah, I mean, it's there. I, I usually kill everything, and somehow I'm managing to keep it healthy and living. What do you mean keep it? We, we haven't touched it. Yeah, I, we, I feed it every day. You, what, what do you feed it? And I even turned it to where the you know. No, how I, I told you we needed to turn it because it was leaning towards the sun. I know, but I'm the one who turned it. <laughs> Liz, it hasn't died because yeah, it's an undiable it. plant. Well, there we go. It, it, it is real, though. It is real. <laughs> what if this whole time was fake? I, oh, if it was so fake, proud. I'd laugh. I'm so proud. I know. That's, that's no, there was this girl. I, I saw it on Twitter. Did you see? There was a girl on Twitter, and she's like, oh, I kept all my, my succulents alive, and then she found out that they were all fake. And she's oh. been, like, carefully watering them, like, every month. and. Oh. At least I, 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 I think I would know the difference between real and fake. I say that, but, you know, I probably couldn't. So you're going to build a victory garden then? I don't you're even know what the victory, gar- yeah, victory garden is. Thing? The fact that something lives. That's a victory. I'm going to plant a Star Wars figure. That's what I'm going to do. Well, you could, you could probably do, like, tomatoes and stuff like that. No. You just get planters and you can put them on the deck. Why would we we plant something? Her parents, like, send us stuff all the time from their garden. Why would we have to do that? (laughs) That's true. We go to the store and pick up. I got a whole big bunch of uh, uh, oranges for, like, a buck fifty today. Why don't you plant corn in your backyard? Because uh, we don't have uh, room. Is that against the HOA? It's against the HOA. Thank you, Diana. It is. (laughs) I, I've come to that conclusion right now. It's very much against the HOA. Privacy fence with corn. We're not growing corn. Liz! <laughs> Have we hit our 10 minutes yet? 
<laughs> I don't even allow corn emoji on my phone. <laughs> uh, well, Jen, I must calm down. So I've discovered was... something quite. What? I've just dis- some the- discovered something quite tragic. There's no, I can't find Golden Girls anywhere. I thought this would be a great time to, you know, go through and watch them over again or something like that. The, there's no platform in Canada that has Golden Girls. Oh, uh, I don't know. I think I had to start until NBC's Peacock uh, launches. I had to uh, like record Frasier episodes on. Uh, I can't remember what channel. Some off channel. What, baby? Uh, sure. As long as you remember to put it back. She's borrowing it. Yeah, we we still have Frasier. It's on on Canada. It's it's on Crave. We have Frasier. Yeah, I don't think. And I, I think, think I'm at. Seasons, season seven. Yeah, but so. can you can you find uh, the Golden Girls on like YouTube anywhere? Like, there's got to be. Like, yeah, I probably stuff. could. I, said, don't watch YouTube. I know, Jenna. Yeah. You said not to watch YouTube. I think I have one or two DVDs too, but oh, well, uh, yeah, I don't have a DVD player. So. Oh, Liz. <laughs> oh man, that's that's a that's bad. Right. So, Jedi. is Jedi allowed to watch YouTube if it's you? No, we try to minimize that because, unfortunately, the problem is, like, YouTube gets weird. Like, I mean, there's stuff on there that's just like, that yeah, that's doesn't true. Look right. Like, it just, I know what they've done with, like, the kids and limiting, like, what kids can see and all that, but, like, uh, Sometimes I put it, like when you honey, I don't know if they can hear you from over there. Oh. It, it's just the iPad mic. Can you, oh. could you hear uh, Diana, Liz? Well, yeah, like so. Yeah, it, you'll be watching something like I don't know, just someone's vlog or something. All of a sudden, it gets you into yeah, conspiracy theory yeah. videos or or those creepy that finger thingy, right. whatever finger it is. Family. Finger family for kids. Your family. Where yeah. are you? Yeah, it's uh no. I mean, like it's that's the one thing yes. I just don't. Uh, I'm glad Disney Plus launched. I, I, even we we got you know the YouTube Premium or whatever, so she doesn't see ads. But still, I mean, like every 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 video that is marketed specifically towards her and made for, specifically for girls like her is an ad. Like it is ostensibly an ad, and it's just it's very to me it's just yeah. extremely weird. Like weird. Maybe it's just yeah, especially like the toy the toy yeah. unboxings and yeah. stuff because the toy unboxings like let, let's say okay listen you open a lot of toys, but when you open a toy you're not like. You're not advertising for you are a walking advertisement for Star, for Star Wars. Wars, right? But you're not even when you get something, you're not saying you're not like the way that they go through all the details of things and they. I understand what they're doing. It it makes them money, but yeah, it's of course we had Saturday morning television cartoons. Well, that was all. So. I mean, GI Joe was an advertisement. Yes, it was all an advertisement. That, that was in fact- so uh, my favorite thing, I think one of my favorite things on Disney Plus is actually that the whole Imagineer series, mm-hmm. like the we whole it. how they develop the parks and everything. Yep, binged it. Because you know me, I love my Disney parks. So well, well, good luck with that. I thought that was really neat. Dang, dude, I, I, I they're going to be down for a while. I'd be shocked if they opened June. At, well, at do you know what's early. funny? Like this year. This year we didn't renew our Disney passes because I told you, right, you knew that. And I also went to Florida at the beginning of February, and normally I go in March. So I was, like, just just because I made a couple decisions, you know, we certainly saved ourselves a lot of heartache. Because the second that things right. got bad, my parents packed up and right. drove back to Nova Scotia. But normally I would have been in Florida then. Like, I'm always yep. there, you know, around the beginning of March, and I would have, and if I was going to be there that long, I would have had my, my pass and everything, and no. all of that would be useless, so. August, maybe. I, I don't know. I, this is going to be a tough year. Yeah. This is going to be a very tough year. I don't know if you can hear Jedi. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah. When? It'll be interesting to see what happens with even, like, all the all those rentals because oh, I know they Dude, had started to really raise the prices of renting everything. them. It's and everything. I think it's going to, 
Oh, dude, it's everything yeah. is in trouble. Can you tell me three, four, Everything's in trouble. And that's the that's my biggest concern is I don't know, I don't know what isn't in trouble, right? I, I there there's just you, you can't you can't skate through this saying you're untouched. I mean, hell, everyone needs a haircut. You know, we're lucky that Diana's been doing mine yeah. for you know you, about two three years mm-hmm. maybe ish. Yep. It's it's time. almost it's it's almost like you like obviously <laughs> your your lifestyle you've prepared you've yeah. prepared for something like this anyway. I know. That's what I'm saying. The only thing is, I guess, I guess it's not always the greatest thing to go to the grocery store every day. So yeah. I don't know if you're still doing that. No, I, I cut back. <laughs> like my 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 errands, my my pre work errands have basically been scaled back by half. So um, yeah, you know, we, but we're largely um, eating still uh, fresh food. You did um, you did, did errands for a while. Yeah, and you have to I right did. now. You know, all these people are, are staying at home eating junk food and stuff. And I, right. like, the, there's ice cream and stuff around, but I, I can't. But you can't it's, eat that. That's not if, healthy. If you're not, ah, yeah, you and, and then you're not. Are you hearing our diet? Yes, and you don't get enough sleep. Yeah. And, you're, and your tummy hurts and you can't, you know. And same with, like, you know, I, I think people have had, like, a week or two to, like, wear pajamas all day. But after that, you kind of have to stop, you know. Get yourself into some sort of a routine, but they said that what's going on right now is quite similar to um, morning. Like it's it's you're going through it's a, it's a stage of grief oh, for a lot I of thought, people. Yeah, I thought you meant mornings. I'm like, no, our mornings are pretty. We still stay in pajamas in the morning. No, <laughs> no, but because a lot of people they're not used to this, right. you know. But but we, we are. are. We're prepared. So yeah. us introverts. <laughs> A stay at homers. Yeah, I, I do miss I do miss just the ability to like you know run out and do stuff and even like all of our Starbucks are closed. Yep, so I couldn't even like order it on Uber Eats now. So okay. <laughs> I make my own coffee. I write it with my AeroPress. So it's all good. <laughs> Me too. But yeah, I think I think it's going to be interesting to see what happens. We've talked about this before, but how all these people who used to have to have meetings right. are realizing that they can resolve a lot of things. No, it's uh, and we'll then of course, changes. yeah, exactly. Not sure, but I have had a kitty cat the whole this whole time <laughs> that I can't go outside. I have a nice kitty cat who wakes me up at four in the morning. Oh, nice. So, nice so Jedi, I do you want a cat? Nice. I'll send it to you. <laughs> do you want a cat? She'll send it to you. Jedi, I'm going to send Iskra to you. She's little. <laughs> She's allergic. She's allergic. You don't know that for sure. That's true. Siamese are less allergenic too. So. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip to another call. We got a, a comment. Yes. Matt. Enjoy. Yeah. Thanks, and, Liz. Uh, Okay, take care, everybody. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Or later today. I find weird tweets and I send them to her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I found, did you, I found a Beauty and the Beast, like, uh, parody. I tweeted it. Uh, um, uh, like, they were singing about Belle having the coronavirus you? and spreading it. Like, it. It was really funny. I'm like, dude, who uh, did this? Hello? Like, Hang on. We got it. Yeah, we got it. Matt. Matt. Go ahead. Answer. Yeah. Hello? Answer. Hello? Hello? Chris. Yeah. Uh, Did I? Okay, so uh, uh, if, you're, if you and your uh, listeners will indulge me for a minute, I'll give you the very short version of this. Uh, I moved recently to Oregon. Hello? Yeah. And in the process of uh, packing up some material, came across a piece of paper that had your picture on it with, with my picture as well from nearly 29 and a half years ago. New Orleans? Uh, I don't know if you're absolutely. I don't know if your readers are aware of your no space satellite background. They're not. <laughs> uh, They're but not. Yes, New Orleans. That's right. Absolutely, man. <laughs> uh, and I saw that, and I looked you up, and I had, I was very. I was. Uh, uh, I, I saw your uh, show on YouTube, 
and just got home from work and saw it was live and just wanted to call and say hi, man. Whoa, dude. A long time ago. Wow. Holy cow. That was actually only the second time in my life I'd actually gotten drunk down on Bourbon Street. <laughs> that it was an interesting time, even though oh. it was a long time ago. Oh, man. Was it about 29 years ago? Nine, 1990? 91? 1990, because when we were down in like the convention hall meeting Gray Castle, the guy that like invented the the geosynchronous satellite, that's when Bush invaded Iraq. Iraq. No, I remember flying like back. Insane, yeah. Yeah, it was an no, insane we, like uh, convergence of events. And we saw Gore. Well, anyway, I, just, I, I won't take time away from no, your no, regular viewers. Dude, no, 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 dude, uh, dude, this is great. Like, I, I, you know, every so often I'm like, you know, I wonder what happened to everybody. I remember. Well, so I, I looked up, I, I found that it was like a, they had printed like what was essentially a big placemat almost. It was like a yeah. double fold of like a magazine with like all those, those students pictures on. Oh yeah, of course I like, I don't do the social media things because I was a teacher for 20 years and that's always like problematic. Right. Uh, but you know, so looked, looked everybody up on Google and like saw you for sure. Uh, yeah, <laughs> man, it sounds like you're doing really well. Dude, that's hilarious. I, you know, I remember <laughs> yeah. I, I still, I carry with me so many memories from that. What was a week? Uh, and I remember the TV, you could send messages back and forth on the TV, like to different oh, yeah, rooms. It was like high tech, man. Dude, I, yeah. I remember, I, I, I want to say it was you that, that keyed in the yellow cigarette flies at dawn. For some reason oh, that, yeah. <laughs> dude, it is burned right. into my memory. Talk, like... I remember. Well, I mean, what were we like, 15, 16? Dude, yeah, I don't know, 15, young, something like that. Young, yeah, it's <laughs> crazy. So, you got a kid, huh? Oh, yeah, hi, cool, man. <laughs> Is that really her first name, like on her birth certificate? Jedi, Jedi. My yeah. my mom's name's Judy, that's awesome, man. Yeah, mom's name's Judy, mother in law is Elia, wife is Diana, so that's J E D I. Nice. Very cool, man. Yeah, I'm a big Star Wars fan myself, so I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed. As a teacher, I will tell you, reading those, like, the names for attendance on the very first day, she would have brought, she will bring many smiles to many people's faces, like, over the years. I'm hoping. That's yeah, the hope. Sure. That is the hope. All right, well, listen, I have to go, and I'll I, I'll let you get back to it, man. All right. I will, I will uh, Drop a line. I'll watch it more often and see, yeah, yeah. see what you're up to, though. Man, yeah, let's sure. talk to strangers. All right, well, good luck, man. Enjoy, enjoy. Thanks, Take man. care. You too. Bye. All right, man, bye. Bye-bye. So I got to explain that before we move on to the next call. Yeah. Okay, you can, you can say something, then I'll, I'll, I'll do my best oh, to explain I that. that you were no, drunk. no <laughs> I wasn't drunk. That was Matt. Daddy. Okay, all I know is that you're a bad influence. It wasn't me. <laughs> okay, baby, what, what, what do you, what do you want to say? Today, we saw a guy who was doing, he was like holding a stick. Oh, a guy was holding a stick today. Well, it was actually an eye opener because he um, looked mad. I didn't know how to explain. So, I think everybody's aware about our homelessness, homelessness situation in Seattle. It's bad. And so, Jedi saw someone and we weren't sure. He was yelling at, Nothing, obviously, but he was waving a stick. He was very angry and yelling, and Jedi didn't understand what was going on. I tried to explain it the best I could, but he was also holding a can in his hand, so he oh. was intoxicated, right. or it could be mental health. Or both. But I, I, I need to learn more how to explain that. But, yeah, you know. So, to segue yeah. back to that yeah. call. Yeah. Like, actually, he did. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm sure he. I, I'm sure he'll he'll be okay, honey. No, sure. um, actually, if he and um, we said if he comes back, then we'll call it, call the police. Well, well I, he was getting a little too close. To yeah, us. if he, so if he, was he making us uncomfortable. Yeah, and always told, be safe. I always Jedi be safe. That I would protect her, but so I in high school, I was a senior, and we had a computer that was brought into the physics classroom, and I learned how to use the program that was part of the uh, uh, was a satellite that basically um uh helped daddy, you could download daddy. every hang on every day you could download like the the weather and you could you could basically map out the weather like a weatherman like or a weather person might do on tv wait wait where what grade i was a senior That's high school. I want so uh, not right now because we're podcasting yeah. but after we're done podcasting then yes you got to watch those dc supergirls superhero girls, superhero oh. girls um. so you know what they're all about 
You have the figures. So hold on. For, okay. Let me, so let me, let me, let me, wait, wait, wait. We're having three I conversations. Say how attractive it is for you to be a senior and you were already nerding out about weather stuff while <laughs> okay. other kids so, are thinking about drinking and partying. You, apparently, Matt. Daddy, daddy, so daddy, okay. Daddy, daddy. Okay. Hang on. Daddy, I got, daddy, okay. daddy, daddy, daddy. Um, so we can all share this orange. Okay. But the most thing is. The building is on fire. Oh, really? Uh, so, we, so at, one by one, the people that would be messing around with this computer, whoever could explain it best to the teacher, um, basically would get something. Yeah. And so we didn't know what the thing was going to be. And it turns out that I was the best one. I was the one who could best explain what you could do with the software because it really didn't have an extra. We didn't get an instruction manual. Yeah. And I explained what it was, what it could do, et cetera, et cetera, what oh, you could do. Awesome. And so I effectively taught the teacher. Whoa. And as a reward, we got flown to, I think it was the National Weather Person's, uh, Daddy, like their I annual convention that. in Daddy. New Orleans that year. And it was myself Dad. and I think six or seven other students. Matt was one of them. And uh, I'm trying to, God, I'm going to have to look up their name, the other one's names. But we, I mean, it was like, imagine like, Six high schoolers, like, running around New Orleans. I mean, it wasn't exactly like that. We had some free time. But it was, like, that was it. Like, for, like, a week, it was, we, we, we kind of, we were students that were using these computers that were using the internet really effectively, downloading these photos long before, like, the internet was really a thing in, in like, popular culture. But we figured out how to use it and what it was, et cetera. And so we got to. 29 years ago? That was 29 wow. years ago. Yeah. And then so anyway, so that was that was probably actually that was probably my first experience if it would be considered the internet. I don't know if it was the internet. It was you would download the, the satellite data to the local computer and then the software you could like go through and you could map out like the uh, uh, like the cloud layers and you could say, okay, here's the pattern and this is likely what's going to happen and this is a low front and this is a high front. It was really cool yeah, stuff. Especially back so, then. Yeah, back then it was really like you want to talk about bleeding edge. It was the school's one computer, right? No, it probably wasn't. The, no, 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 sorry. Let me let me rephrase that. It was the school's one computer with a color screen. Dad, yes. Um, I eat your orange. I am not going to eat my orange. You can eat it. So anyway, so that's that was Matt. And so uh, anyway, wow. we had we had a whole bunch of fun. Twenty nine. Every so often, cool. yeah. I'll think I'll, I'll I'll think about. It. I'll see if I can dig up any of the old stuff because I, I mean it was before digital, so we didn't have any of it archived. But uh, wow. yeah, it's hilarious. I mean, like, there's six. Yeah. I, I want to say there's like, I remember at least Daddy? three or four of us. Daddy. I remember Matt. Um, because I'm sure he, he I remember, I want to say he's the one that did the yellow cigarette flies at dawn. So when I write that, like, that's where it came from. It came from Matt. I swear it was Matt. Even if he won't Daddy. claim it, it came Dad. from Matt. He was as big of a goofball as I was, if not bigger. Daddy. No, it was great. Daddy. I remember having my po bo a po boy with Wait, them. How did y'all get alcohol if y'all were in? Dude, I it wasn't me. That dude, I had no idea. That was the first time I learned of that. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me, dude. No, no, no. That yeah. wasn't me. I had my first beer like that, like when it, when I was in college. What, honey? <laughs> how did you um, get alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> it's New Orleans. Yes, honey. Um, um, can I talk, please? Yes, and then we gotta take another call. Okay. Um, so who is from? Who, 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 the call. Where was the call from? I'm not sure. Yeah. We met in New Orleans, and I can't remember where everyone. We were from all around the United States. Um, no, oh, um, no, um, who, how you looked when you were in college? Uh, nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly the same. Exactly the same. <laughs> Bigger Daddy, glasses. Daddy doesn't change. Daddy, yeah. Well, Daddy changes, <laughs> just not not as dramatically. So to speak. That is dramatic. Why, why are we wasting all my yellow stickies? She puts the notes down like this. Like I know. you do. Well, because... That's how you Okay, now it. write a word. Can you do a word? Try. Okay, try to do a word. Okay, I'm going to answer the next call, okay? Okay. All right. <sighs> Yo! Hello, Galaxy. <laughs> Indeed. Hi. Jedi still. Hi, hey, Jedi. <laughs> and Diane. Hi. So, this is Jeff again. This is Jeff again. Yeah. You guys remember going down to my parents' place before yeah. Jedi was born? Obi and my mom Obi made these huge, huge sweet rolls. Yeah. Do you remember? They had a whole bunch of the Star Wars figures out. I, I, you know what? Here's the thing. I kick myself for not getting more of them. I really do to this day. 
yeah, and he's he's pretty much liquidated and took kind of a yeah. a big loss. But it's with anything that's collectible, you're not going to really get what you paid for it unless you just have that one of a kind item. True. Yeah, but it's still so fun. I. I have to. I was going to ask you guys since your your whole entire family is 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 vegan, so those sweet rolls weren't vegan. Were you guys able to to do anything with them no, no, back no. then? Or no, no, no. We Diana flipped me like three years ago or so. And Jedi's more vegetarian. Uh, and Jedi, I don't even think was born at that point, was no. she? No, she was. Yeah, she I think. Born. I think Diane at the time was maybe five months. Uh, yeah, if my memory cool. serves. Yeah, we we flipped vegan for well, actually, three years ago. Yeah. Well, actually, I, I eat I eat more vegan. You do. So more the vegetarian. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. There, there's there was no problem. At least. And then, you know, and the sad thing is, Chris, is I'm diabetic. Um, been type two probably for the last six years and that type of stuff, which I would love to enjoy. I just have no desire, huh. you know, from a health standpoint, and whatnot, but yeah. you know, we've been talking off and on about how people are coping with food stuff. And I would think that families in your position that have developed a, a different discipline on, food can actually get a little bit more creative than the consumer or the, the off the shelf canned goods and the stuff that's really not healthy. Well, um, Diana, usually like what I'll do, I'll, I've got a, I, I, I generally have a routine, which uh, as I, I was mentioning to Liz has kind of been scaled back in half. Uh, I did, uh, I, or I, I'll go out uh, and, 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 and hit the stores. And sometimes there will be like not clearance items. They call them manager specials, but they're like, they're basically foods that are either about to go bad or there's too Super much, ripe. too many of them. They're really ripe. They're ready to go. And uh, so they're typically marked down. And so instead of spending right. four, $4 on like a, a super greens, like bundled things, uh, we'll spend 99 cents. I'm like, well, you know, it's, it's great. And so then Diana will, will very often take that and mix and mash things up. She'll freeze some stuff. Like when we get beans, she'll freeze those. She'll freeze half of those. Um, fruits and veggies we tend to go through, but yeah, I mean she'll 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 mix and match stuff. We got a whole like a five pounds of garlic the I other like day. Fruits. Yeah, you love fruits. Like I actually really love fruits. Like, yeah, your garlic thing still cracks me up. Uh, you know what? I, my two sisters that live up in Washington, and my mom still does canned goods, tomatoes and pickles. Oh, yeah. And we love local this. farms and so forth. We did that, did that like crazy here when I was a kid. And I just don't have a yard. I mean, my yard's only fifty five hundred square feet because it's mostly the house. Well, careful because Liz will try to get so, you to plant corn. <laughs> that uh, corn's the devil to a diabetic. Man, oh, yeah. I believe it. And you know what? There's a few things I have too, Liz. If she's still listening, is I have cats. I have one name. Uh, Leia. Princess Leia, yeah. but I also have the entire um, collection of the Golden <laughs> Girls. <laughs> Sorry, Jedi was telling you she was allergic to cats. No, I'm good, thank you. Yes, I've I've heard it's it's too bad. No, it isn't. That's God's will. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what though? Again, because. Because I don't have a, a, an area where a dog could live a comfortable life of going yeah. outside and being in the yard. Yeah. That's why I have cats that rule the house. I hear you. I do not. And unfortunately, the neighborhood, the neighborhood community cats, as they're called, or the feral animals. Right. They have a program where they do a trap, um, neuter, do all that, and then they dock one of their ears so you can tell it's a community cat. So there's a dozen community cats that our household ends up taking care of. Oh, that's close enough. A community cat. Uh, I can deal with but, a community cat. You know, sometimes people will say, you know, one cat is one cat too many or one dog is one <laughs> dog too many. And I'm, I'm okay with that. It's to each their own. Right. Yeah. No doubt. But you know, hopefully when this mess is over, 
and it's in better circumstances, and I'm back in Seattle. We'll definitely have to go thrifting together. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I I well because everything's closed. It's non essential. So uh, yeah, you know, but there's nothing coming in, nothing going out. So it's all online now. Well, shop Goodwill is where we get a lot of stuff. Yeah. We're we're doing a. This will be our third year that we're doing a christmas tree that gets donated to a the funds get donated to a local hospital mm. and usually they're they're usually memorials for someone that's passed on but yeah i'm I doing see. one that's based on nintendo and we've, we're finding stuff from goodwill and and other places that they're diamonds in the rough sometimes right. they don't even know what they have you know i i've looked at shop goodwill and I just stopped because honestly, I, I can't say that it no, was as. Will and Amelia. No, that's those are kids' names, not exactly the same type of Will. Uh, it's uh, it, it's it. I would say it's hit or miss, but I I, I guess I appreciate more right. of the Valley Village model where you just walk in, you see it there, and you get it. Um, I, I have. Oh, I I loved it when I lived up. I lived up in Washington State in the eighties. Value Village. It's crazy. Yeah, Diana got me hooked. I blame you know, her. <laughs> I know, I'm, you I'm know what, though? There's nothing There's nothing wrong with being frugal. Yeah. I tried to get him to come with me for, like, years, and he wouldn't. And I told him, think about all the Star Wars stuff he missed out of all those years. And she's she's regretting that now. Yeah. Hey, you know, there's a, there's a group, and I'll, I'll DM Chris on Discord, that they do what's called gleaning, and it's the same philosophy where the the big stores if they have an overstock of produce or even meat for those that are carnivores instead of throwing it away it gets donated yeah and it's typically because of the pull date and there's nothing wrong with it yeah i know just that they can't sell it we we have and my two sisters up there are really are really into it don't watch youtube yeah, I'd like to check that out. I'd check it out. Don't watch YouTube. <laughs> uh, all right, Jeff, let me know. <laughs> I will. We'll sure do. You guys, you kids have uh, kids. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I just got. I just got back from a park with my three-year-old granddaughter, who has the attention span of an ant. Yeah, hear ya. That trying to trying to go fishing just to do you know get out break the monotony, and there's no one at the park. And that, of course, there's no one at the park, so she's bored. But you have a wonderful evening, I'll, and I'll definitely let you know how to how to look into that. It's it's going to be around the greater Seattle uh, area. So. Okay, cool, awesome, nice. All right, take care, my friends. You too. Bye. Goodbye. Nice. So we may have uh, other sources. Oh, for that's cool. Discounts. Gleaming. Stuff. I've never even heard of that. Yeah, that's kind of like manager special because the boxes are damaged sometimes. Right. And they're still good. But they're still fine. Yeah. Nothing wrong with them. Jedi found an orange seed in her orange, so she wants to go plant it. Uh, where? Where is she going to plant it? In soil. Okay, wait. No, no, no. Where is she going to plant it? Where? Like, do you know where? Nope. Okay. Because I don't want to, like, find this seed somewhere randomly. I think she's thinking in the backyard. Was she? Did she run off with it? She's gonna save it. Uh, let's. Okay, let's try to. Let's try to find that seed. I'm gonna wrap up because we're at an hour. Oh, okay. Because uh, otherwise, I'll be talking all night. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, calling, chatting, whatnot. Uh, whether you're tuned in from France, apparently. Oh, cool. Or from uh, formerly knowing me in New Orleans, or Canada, or Oregon, or wherever you happen to be. Uh, it was nice to have Diana and Jedi there. Diana is going to try to find. You're gonna. You're really gonna try to find it, right? Oh, I do. I don't need to see an orange seed, a random orange seed somewhere. I know. I'm just gonna. It's just gonna surprise me somewhere. Okay. Uh, I will see everybody in about 24 hours, or hear from hear from everybody. You'll hear from me in about 24 hours or so. Maybe we'll set a topic tomorrow, and we'll take it from there. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. I love you. I appreciate you. And at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. And may the force be with you always.